This event was brought to you by our generous sponsors here in Costa Mesa for all of your sailing needs is the Sailing Pro Shop at www.sailingproshop.com. Hello, Marcos Weinstein here, coming to you live from Bahia Corinthian Yacht Club in Newport Beach for the sixth annual Harbor 20 Club Championships. We are going to be showing you some great highlights of the family regatta as well as the team regatta uh, out on the turning basin here in the harbor. We've got three races for the family regatta and four races for the team regatta to show you some highlights from and then go over the results and have a great time. So join us for a great day on the water. So the first regatta in the series is the family series race, which we will have eight boats competing. And with those eight boats, we've got some new members and some iconic family names from the Yacht Club for many years. So here we've got boat number 307, Philip Thompson with his crew, Wendy Kerr and Tyler Wood. Boat number one, Eric Ledeckis and his crew on first in class, the actual first shock Harbor 20 ever built. And boat number 37, Guy Duran on Ruthless, which is named after Ruth Barden, the iconic matriarch of uh, the Barden family of Newport Beach, Balboa Island. And the number boat number 108, Len Bowes, on his boat, Only Child, with his crew. And also boat number 78, Jim Kerrigan, the iconic Jim Kerrigan from Bahia Corinthian Yacht Club on Rascal. And then boat number 168, Mike White, sailing on Summer Dream. Boat number 71 is George Hampton with his crew on Cool H2O. And wrapping up the fleet is boat number 102 with Bob Homer on Rhapsody. We have a great day lined up for you. Stay tuned. Picking up here, we've got a whopping four knots. I think we're gonna get up to six. Philip is looks like he's tacking on the ley line. He's getting a little header. There he is. I'm sorry, a little and he tacks over on to start. There we go. Second to tack is first in class. On the ley line is ruthless, number three. Evenly spaced out, nice, nice competition there. Philip is rounding first. Doing his fair away now. First with a nice lead, about four boat lengths. Coming around in second, boat number one, first in class. Roxanne, I'm sure, is very proud of her boat as they're racing while she's out of town. And here we come with Guy on Ruthless, named in honor of Ruth Barden, the matriarch of the Barden family, Balboa Island. Bahia Corinthian Yacht Club members and they're very well loved as they come down steaming downwind. Incoming some vessel traffic. We've got uh, oh paddle boarders galore, which the drone might capture in the video just for the sake of getting ladies on paddle boards. We'll manage the traffic. Is that, part of the race? that is part of the race course. Yeah, it's race management's job to move the ladies along. And then, of course, is Andrew Mayhew on Lively coming into the course here pretty soon on his fantastic little schooner, Lively. He's making his way up the course with his charter guests aboard, navigating through the fleet of Harbor 20s, giving his guests a really nice show. Okay, back to live racing action. We've got Philip Thompson still downwind with his wonderful girlfriend Wendy Kerr and Tyler aboard as well. Make up the family group. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Now Lively's making her way right through the course and it's stirring things up a little. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Andrew Mayhew. We're getting in on the mix. That's a very nice bit of cachet to the regatta. That'll be beautiful. <laughs> and then we've got the Desperate Housewives of Orange County all on their paddle boards, <laughs> taking up the middle of the course. Very good. I'm sure they have their own camera crew.
20. Sneaking in, boat 108, only child, making a real aggressive move, going from the other side of the course, jiving around. Look at that, that's very well done. Well played, sir, well played. And Phil Thompson still stretching out his lead. As he's going upwind, the starboard side of the course. Nice puff there, we've got a little breeze there down at the boat end. commentate every second and we are not professionals we're volunteers with a mindset that we are professionals so that makes <laughs> it even worse so we are trying to cover the first lured rounding as Phil Thompson makes his way around the lured mark heading up heading up races in this uh, family championship for the Bahia Corinthian Yacht Club's annual Harbor 20 championships and we've got Phil Thompson still at a commanding lead as he's approaching the starboard lay line coming across on port and he will be uh, packing soon and then of course in second place uh, let's see up there we've got Len Bowes again right boat number 108 looks like he's uh, commanding well with Ruthless tacking over onto starboard and then first in class Still approaching the port ley line on starboard and going to attack, but it looks like some really exciting action there. Look at that! Wow, Len Bowes grounding outside of Phil Thompson, Shanna's secret as they round outside, and look at that exciting action. Jiving now as Philip coming trying to get away. Len goes on the outside, attacking it further out, jiving it further outside, and keeps going downwind. Philip jives on the inside, comes down this side of the course, trying to get some clear air. I'll be with the siding now. I've got it, it's right there. Right over oh, there. Okay, no more it. seagulls. That's there the palm tree there. Okay. Yeah. Wow, exciting action. Okay, Phil Thompson coming down the starboard side of the course as he's trying to get some clear air. And Bose has some really nice, clean, clean air over there on the port side. No obstructions. Philip is struggling boat moving in the lee of Lido there. That nice little uh, remodel project on the tip of the island. $20 million purchase and probably a $5 million remodel. For someone that lived on the other side of town that wanted a better view. It's so nice of them to uh, keep purchasing the marquee properties in Newport Beach. First world problems and all. Oh yes. So here we go. Philip Thompson looks like he's in the lee. Really slowed down there. Now we've got uh, over here on the port side, really good speed here for Lynn Bowes with uh, boat number 108, Philip Thompson and Guy on Ruthless. Wow, look at the puff on with Philip. There we go. Philip's got a lot of breeze, moving fast on the outside. And incoming, here comes Lynn as they, wow, no, Lynn's got a nice lead here. Let's see what happens though when they, when they jive over. Head to head action there on the starboard side. Philip Thompson, I'm sure, giving Wendy and Tyler every bit of direction to make sure they're moving every ounce of their weight to the right part of the boat. 
Philip looking ten steps ahead, as he always does, in that Australian accent, giving those directions as clearly as possible. As he... <laughs> so look at only child. There he goes, jiving with a nice five-boat length lead. Wow. Really nice job on the port side. He really did well to make it over. and then Lynn headed to the finish with a really tight three boat. So oh my, look at that. Grouping there for second place. Hey guys, there's a race here. Go that way. There's a race. Go that way, please. Thank you. So, yes, look at that. Here we go. Okay, Philip Thompson on the inside making room. Wow, we've got major action with Duffy's. Oh, and a <laughs> crashing and burning Duffy out there on the outside. Good job. Make those Duffy's work. And Philip Thompson keeping that lead, barely moving as he comes around the lure bar. Guy on the outside. And look at boat number one with some real speed here on the inside. Watch out. Look at that. Phil Thompson is boat number one, boat number 307. And then on the outside, boat number 37 with Guy. Oh my, Ruthless is on the outside. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure they have room to cross. Got it, thank they you. may not have made the finish. You know what, Ruthless, no. got it. I don't think, oh, well, I don't know. This is definitely going to do it. They've got to tack over. They're not going to make the finish line. There it is. Len Bowes with the win. Oh, yes. Looks like Eric's number two. First in class has got to tack to make that finish line, I think. I don't think. No, he's got it. it. Look at the leg. Oh, he's got it there from this angle. It's hard to say, but Philip won't make it. He's been pushed out. He's got to tack at the last minute. Or is he going to feather over? He's just going to Well done, first in class out. with number oh, two. Look oh, look at okay, that. Okay, drones. Tight. Oh my gosh, what an intense finish there. That one. Here with the championships, it's the Bahia Corinthian Yacht Club Harbor 20 Club Championships. You're live on board my drone. On board, yes. Thank you, Elizabeth Barden, for the boat. Yes, thank you, Elizabeth, very much. Really appreciate your letting us be out here today. Couldn't have done this without you. Do You're a gem. <laughs> Thank God Green Bay is playing or she'd be on the boat. Here's to Green Bay. That'd be a pain. Hope they won. Well, we're on our first start here. We just have a nice fresh breeze. We've got a fleet of eight boats. And we had one over early on the first start. Guy on Ruthless had a little uh, jump the gun there by just about a foot or two. The wind is going pretty right. So we've got the weather mark a little further north up the channel than it was earlier and the boats are all seeing the right side as they're going over to starboard let's see who's actually in the lead right now on that crossing looks like uh, Len Bowes and the phone call so um, what do we have for uh, the rounding right now how does it look Don what boats do you see up there We've got, uh, wow, there's some major puff going on. Look at the speed he's got going into that mark. Is that, that's, that's Spirit. So that's Spirit, that's Peter, Peter Haynes. Haynes. Peter Haynes doing well to come around the weather mark with speed. Jibing now. 
nice speed, and then we've got uh, coming up around in number three position. We've got, uh, looks like Philip Thompson coming in. Wow, there's a heck of a battle there. I'm trying to drive and look at the drone. It's a little challenging, so I'm not able to tell you exactly who's doing what right now, but the drone footage is self-explanatory as the breeze is freshening as they're coming down. So we'll be able to see all of the action. We've got lots of boats coming through the course, so we'll make sure we can help everybody and get them out of the way. So we're doing great. We're just helping out uh, the other boats that are watching the racing, navigating. We've got a UC Irvine boat there, looks like. Who is that? And boat one, first in class, is all the way over there to the left. Okay, very good. And third, holding third well, but this jibe angle with Haynes and boat number 130 is pretty tight. They're coming together and heading towards the leeward mark. It looks like, uh, oh, looks like Spirit's thinking about jibing, but they're, they're heading into trying to stay between the other boat and the mark, which is classic racing etiquette. So he's trying to make sure he keeps there, and then boat 130 might cover. So there goes first in class, jiving over on the starboard. And then you've got the rest of the fleet coming up. And no seagulls. Yeah, that's a good thing. the start finish line. Looks like Spirit has a nice lead. And so the rest of the fleet's jiving over on to, okay, they're on port now. But he's Dan Rawson, fall in the line. Glenn Bowes, jiving over on to starboard. Dan Rawson doing the same. Philip Thompson on the outside, trying to make up time. As he's battling for Third. Oh, and a slow jive and a wing and wing maneuver. Look at that. Yeah, Very nice dead down wind maneuver between Dan Rawson and Len Bowes. Neck and neck as they head into the lure. Mark with boat number one trying to wing and wing himself. He's trying, he's trying, he's getting it out there. But it's a real good match between Philip Thompson, Len Bowes, Dan Rawson, and first in class boat one as they are all headed down wing and wing towards the Leward Mark. What a beautiful sight. That's going to be a real fun, cl fun cluster at the Leward Mark as they're all coming into the Mark together. Let's see what ends up happening. The very commanding lead with Boat 201, Spirit, and then Boat 130, Peter Haynes, rounding in second strongly. Now the whole fleet coming into the Leward Mark. Wow, looks like Len Bowes and Dan Rawson, but then first in class has inside room, so he's taking everybody up. Well done to get inside room. Excellent. Okay, as they're coming up, they're all coming up. Now they're going to get ready to jive as they're able. Looks like first in class, as long as he can have a clean maneuver, can keep himself in good shape as long as his 10-year-old son is on top of it. Take care of it as they round. They sheet in. Coming up, coming up. Philip. Let's see what happens. Oh yes, yes, you've got Dan Rawson taking him out, boat 50. Lynn Bowes being forced out the outside, 108. Now rounding up hard, hard, trying to get, trim that jib, trim that jib, get up, get up on breeze. And he has overlap and he's got him now. So he's, let's see what happens here. Glad well played. Up for that. Philip Thompson coming across. Oh, Lynn tacking over on him. Lynn Bowes wants to go left and see how he can pay off. We've got a three boats racing with each other in fourth place. Bill Thompson taking boat 50. Dan Rossett out. Let's see what they can do. They're going to keep And Phil goes left.
it's doing. I'm driving, trying to make sure I'm out of everybody's way, which I'm not good at, as you all know. Yeah. So we will. I will there. not be a part of any protest room redress for filming boat in interference. Really good. getting down to 36%, so we're getting pretty low on battery life. It does look a lot like Tabasco, doesn't it? Beautiful boat. Yeah. Thirty-two percent. So I've got maybe four minutes left. Very nice lead there by Spirit. the family division. Let's move on now to the club championships for the team division. Again, number one, no no mystery there. Philip Thompson with crew. Uh, Wendy Kerr on Shauna's Secret. Great job, Philip and Wendy. And then uh, second place uh, out of nowhere really was uh, Peter Haynes on Spirit, number 201. He did really well to battle back and get up in that top second spot. And then coming in third was boat number 108, Len Bowes on Only Child. So again, really great day of racing here for the club championships. This is the sixth annual. Started in 2013 by Commodore Madden to be able to honor that family and the club championships on these Harbor 20s, local boats. A lot of them here in town and we're really excited to have been here today. Fantastic day of racing and a great yacht club and a great history. Thank you very much and we'll see you next year. So for all of your sailing needs, is the Sailing Pro Shop at www.sailingproshop.com. Thank you, Carl. Also, the Bahia Corinthian Yacht Club for hosting an incredible event with great staff and great facilities. And finally, our support boat sponsor, Elizabeth Barton, or Evie as we know her, for donating her boat 